Remember when we were kids playing soccer? How we'd all bunch up around the ball? How we all seemed to be competing with our own teammates? Eventually, a good coach came along and helped us understand the value of teamwork and the importance of trust. I trust you to cover one part of the field and you trust me to cover the other. Inspiring a group of individuals to work together towards a shared objective, that's leadership. And being a great leader isn't about title, power, it's about the work you inspire in others. In today's episode, we'll learn how a design icon uses creativity to shape his own leadership style. And we'll hear how one entrepreneur brings out the very best in her team. So let's get our head in the game. This is American Express Business Class. Hey. Jonathan, how are you? Hi. Good to see you. Great All to right. see you. Jonathan Adler's passion for pottery started at summer camp when he was only 12 years old. Over the years, he's managed to build that passion into a home decor empire. In the world today, people are so used to seeing these sort of like overnight success stories. Um, and for me, it was anything but. I started out without a dollar. It was just me and pottery, which is really just like one dude, some mud, and a wheel. Like, it doesn't get more primitive. So now you're starting to make this transition from a solo artist to you have employees, you have a team, you have a store. What was that transition like for you? One of the biggest hurdles I ever faced was being able to surrender that control from something as small and intimate as surrendering control of making a pot to surrendering control of, like, you know, huge business decisions to people who you trust. I have found people who are brilliant at what they do, and I trust them to do it well. So as business has grown, how has your role as a leader changed? The most important thing is that the leader and the led all feel like they're in it together. You can make a million different mistakes, you can do all the wrong things, but if you're in it with your colleagues, then they'll see that and it'll all be fine. You know, extraordinary entrepreneurs tend to be ordinary people with an extraordinary outlook. There's never a question about what drives them. Their why is always clear. As business owners, we always have to take time to consider our why. Because once we've done that work, we can clearly communicate it to others so that there's a shared sense of purpose. You know, when people are financially invested, they're eager for a return. But when they're emotionally invested, they're eager to contribute. In the United States, tens of millions of people experience food insecurity. Yet each year, over 70 billion pounds of edible food goes to waste. In the words of our next entrepreneur, solving hunger is not a question of scarcity. It's a matter of logistics. I started Gooder really from a place of organic caring. And the idea really just came to me from driving downtown and seeing hundreds of people living on the streets. And I felt compelled to want to do something and I figured I could cook. I was couponing, taking five and $10 donations and piecing it together to make a meal for 500 people. And I started to think it would be so cool if I could get this food donated. And I Googled, you know, what happens to extra food at the end of the night? And that's when I learned about food waste. Jasmine approached various businesses that at the end of the day had leftover food that they were paying companies to take to waste centers, but could now be distributed by Gooder into the community. For her mission to have any chance at success, Jasmine needs every one of her employees working together as a team. Fortunately, she's a passionate motivator who knows the value of having a common goal. I want to be someone that people just feel really relatable to. You want to be approachable. I never want anyone to be afraid to come to me with anything. Being a good leader, you have to listen and you have to know the kind of people that you're leading and what's going to actually drive them to be the best that they could be. But as Jasmine knows, leadership is more than just about motivating your team. It's about setting up the right process and getting out of the way, empowering your staff to do the work and become leaders themselves. I like to give people opportunities to prove themselves. And I felt like a lot of times in my past jobs, leaders never did that. And I think that that's something I try and do a lot is give people opportunities to shine. I'm so passionate about feeding people on this massive scale that I think my leadership style just exudes to the team and everybody gets excited about doing this work. It's the best job ever. This really feels good every single day. So let's talk about leadership styles. 
There's no one right style of leadership. The way you communicate and motivate is specific to your personality and experiences, but being able to adapt your style can serve you well. Say you're facing a fire drill at work, like a last minute investor meeting or a sudden breakdown in your supply chain. In a situation like this, you might want to consider taking the coercive style, a do as I say approach. It might be useful when your team is faced with an urgent sense of direction. But in most cases, people don't respond well to that kind of domineering authority. It can drain your team of initiative and pride. After the crisis is over, you may want to shift gears. The democratic style is about inviting collaboration, making sure the members of your team are heard and empowered. More voices mean more ideas. But you may need a different tactic to bring those ideas to life. The pace setting style is about setting the standard and leading by example. It's always good for morale when the leader digs in. You know, leadership is more than just getting people to care about the bottom line. It's about letting them know they're an essential part of the mission. And for all of Jasmine's talent and energy, she's not going to solve a hunger crisis by herself. She needs a team that believes in the company's purpose, like it's their own. And Jonathan Adler knew he had to build the team he could trust to allow him to surrender control and help his company grow even bigger. True leaders make us realize that we're more than just individuals on a field. We're a group of people coming together that can't win unless we're working together as a team. 